Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shar. I'm sorry for the jumping. It is windy out where I live, and I'm by a window, so that's telling me that my windows are a little drafty. Sorry. But anyway, I wanted to come back to you guys. Oh my God, I am so... <laughs> I am so sick and tired of this April chick. Oh, my God. OMG. This is part three, okay, of April Jones and Little Fizz. Oh, Omarion, bless him. He's kind of like out of it because he's civil. You know, he got other things going on. He's civil, you know, even if it is an act, I don't know if it's act, an act or not, but he's civil, he's calm, and less is more. And he's saying less. He's not saying too much. He's just doing him. Um, I know on Instagram, I don't follow him or anything, but I know on Instagram, he, I seen something where he was, it looks like he was blessing himself with sage and he may have even been talking in tongues or something. I am not sure, but, you know, if it's an act, he's putting on a good act. And <laughs> this is so crazy. I just had to come back and talk about April. Okay, now I may cuss. Sorry. I may cuss. I don't cuss that much. I try not to cuss that much because I don't know who watches the videos or who's going to watch it or who may see it. I don't know. I mean, this is the web. So, your content can and will be viewed by anybody, you know what I mean? So I, I just try to watch what I say and how I say it, but I can honestly say I may cuss during this video. Because look, April Jones has done a sit-down, has done an interview with Claudia Dumbass Jordan, okay? Now I know you guys have absolutely no idea who Claudia Dumbass Jordan is. And that's rightfully so because she is totally... And I hate to say that people are irrelevant because people are people. People are... They can do what they want to do and all this stuff and more power to you. I'm not trying to bash anybody, but Claudia Dumbass Jordan, and I'm going to be calling her that throughout this video because... That's exactly what she is. If I never knew it before, I definitely know now that she is a complete and total dumbass, okay? So April Jones had to sit down with Claudia Dumbass Jordan, and um, she has a platform now on YouTube. I'm not going to say the publication. I don't even care. If you want to find her, find her. Google her or go searching through YouTube. Do it on your own because... I'm not advocating anybody that I don't really care for. And it's it's not a bash. It's just that you like who you like and you don't like who you don't like, period. And she may not like me if she saw this. Who cares? I don't care. Anyway, um, so she has a platform. She's do, she I guess she does interviews now with different people or whatever. Um, I guess because this shit is going so viral. This April Jones stuff is going so viral now. All because of a relationship. All because she had sex and had a fake relationship with her baby daddy's group mate. Okay? Lil Fizz. Or as she likes to call him, Drew. Okay? So she had to sit down with Claudia Dumbass Jordan. And just to get right into it. Because I'm not advocating either one of them. Because April is a smart ass B. Claudia Dumbass Jordan, on the other hand, is a dumbass B. Okay? And so I'm not advocating either one of them because April Jones is getting so much clout and so and trending so much just from cheating, not necessarily cheating, but just from dating her baby daddy's ex friend or group mate. She's getting so much clout from this. So she's happy. This is what she wants. And it, for somehow, I guess for her, this builds her up or gets her views up. And, you know, I guess in her head for her. This means an avenue for money, I guess. I don't know. Who cares? Anyway, so she sits down with Claudia Dumbass Jordan. And just to get to the meat of it, they were talking. And Claudia went right in and asked her, like, you know, you're getting a bad rap and a, a, a bad flag and all kinds of stuff. And, you know, like, what constitutes, how can you break up a group? Like, really? What? What be like how 
How could you say, how can she break up a group? How stupid can you be? Look at what happened. The, B2, the B2K group was touring, okay, together as a group. They were touring. Lil Fizz, I guess his name is Raz B, uh, uh, Drew, and Omarion and Jay Boog. They were touring together as a group. Now, they did all the tour dates. Supposedly, that tour, along with other groups, did amazing. Did amazing. Um, everybody took very well to, um, you know, B2K being a part of it. They did amazing, okay? Which is how and where uh, Drew got the money to buy this amazing or rent this amazing house that he rented for himself in April, okay? They did great. That's why he got that money, okay? So that was a group. That's the group. They were touring. They were making money. Prior to this, years ago, they were a group. Is she getting it? Now, fast forwarding to currently, April and um, Omarion had a relationship. It didn't work out. He left her for whatever reasons why. Okay, boom, she's bitter. We get it. A woman scorned has done that a million times, a million women. We get that. Which is why this is great for her. She's happy because she is doing anything she can to get up under a Marion skin. But, you know, like I said, if it is working, he's not showing it, and that's the game. You know, you win in the game when you don't show it, regardless of what you're doing under the uh, privacy of yourself, in your home, in your room. She, he could be cr uh, crying, punching the walls, punching, uh, punching bags or whatever. No one sees it. What we see, we, we don't know. So he's winning as long as he can continue on the way he's doing. You know what I mean? So um, in retaliation to that, he chose to take the high road, not really bash either one of them negatively. And he also decided to go solo moving forward. When, with any and all tours, he's going solo with that moving forward forward that means that the other gentlemen are not a part of it that means they're not making any freaking money okay that's breaking up the group dumbass that's breaking up the group because prior to that they were together making money and because of this he decided to go solo why is that hard to understand why don't she get that that it that constitutes breaking up the group simple i'm not sure why claudia jordan doesn't understand that then to add insult to injury and i am so mad and, and forgive me because i don't mean to go i mean i don't mean to get just out of character and just be all over the top but the thing is is that let me breathe so the thing is is that during the interview okay during the interview, Claudia asks April. Um, oh, no, no, no. She didn't ask her. She said, um, you're getting a bad rap, and um, I just don't get America. I just don't get the masses. I don't understand how, you know, everybody expects that you can't date someone else that, you know, your friend used to date. What book are you reading from? Like, really? She is effing up the bro code, the girl code, trust. She has absolutely mo no moral compass. She told April Jones that she doesn't get that, why America feels like it was wrong for her to date her boy, uh, her baby daddy's or, and boyfriend. He was her boyfriend. She was in love with him, supposedly. She, she doesn't get why people are mad at her for doing that. Really, bitch? What don't you get? Which explains why this ugly woman, and I hate to call her ugly because to each his own, you know, but she always got on a, a fucked up wig. Her, her hair always looked real thick and coarse and nappy. And, and, and it's not her hair, I don't think. I think it's a wig or a weave. So I'm not talking about her hair. Okay, I'm talking about the weave. And I can call her weave thick nappy and coarse it looks like a brillo pad or something and it i think it has a lot to do with her hair color it's like um 
like a sandy brown or like a dishwater color brown. But I don't know who she goes to to get her hair done, but it's always like big and it just, it's never looked good. Okay, and it didn't look good during the interview. But anyway, she told her that the world was too small not to consider men or women for, for men the world is too small for you not to consider a man that your friend has dated. What? What kind of B would tell somebody that? What kind of chick are you? Like, you have absolutely no moral values. Like, what? So you mean to tell me you gonna F with every woman that you know? Their ex-husband, their ex-boyfriends. You know what I mean? If, if, if you can't find nobody else or if you see them out and you have a coffee or whatever, you will, you know, turn that into a relationship if it goes that way. And this is somebody your boy, your girl has dated or was married to. Not only is she a dumb bee and, and a not so cute bee, in my opinion, she she's a dirty bee. Cause that's dirty like you are advocating that so who all her friends is i will get the f away from her immediately because she just told you anybody that you dated and that you know it may pop with me and him regardless if you dated him or not i still may get on that's what she's telling all her friends and i'm sure the people who are around her the girls the women or whatever who are around her i'm sure they know this because she's done this and like I said, this explains why she's not married, never been married, okay, to my knowledge. And I don't follow the bitch because she ain't nobody to follow. Clearly, look at what she's talking about. Look at that, what she's preaching. She's telling people that the world is too small. Date your friend's man or your ex-man or your friend's ex-man or your friend's ex-husband or whatever because the world is too small. If I, if I find it with him, I'm going to find it with him. Yeah, bitch, okay, get your ass kicked, okay? So, April was like, wow, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, she was eating it up because all mean girls want, you know, approval. You know, all mean girls want approval. They want a gang. They want a group. You know, they want anything and anybody who's going to agree with what they're doing. So, she's happy. You know, April is sitting up there acting like the victim. She acting like she don't understand it either. And, you know... She kept saying that Drew, as she calls him, which is that his, that's his name, whatever. You know, she kept saying Drew is a great guy, great guy. Great. I mean, she if she had to say Drew was a great guy a thousand times, she said it a thousand times. Drew is a great guy. And that's how you know that she do not F with Drew no more. Okay? She has cut Drew off, dropped Jew, Drew. Okay, she dropped him. It's over. Okay, regardless of who initiated, be it him, when he found out about the BG Goat boy, or if she dropped him because of the BG Goat boy, or just because of all the drama now and this and that, and then went by, it doesn't matter. They dropped each other. It's over. So that means, like everybody said, you fucked your bag up for this one and I know he want to jump off the cliff and like I said before I'm not advocating suicide I'm not advocating for anybody to jump off anybody's cliff I'm just really using it as a metaphor okay I'm just using it just saying it okay I'm just saying that in his head it's like he fucked up bad and he knows he did he fucked up like how you gonna get Omarion to agree to, if nothing else, allow him to come back and perform with him. You know what I mean? They're going to have to uh, wave a pretty penny at Omarion to get him to, you know, perform as a group again. And he may. He may because money does talk. You know, if a promoter that does another tour or whatever the case may be, you know, has something lined up and... You know, they wave a, a pretty penny at him. He'll do it, I'm sure. Why not? But best believe first, before he does it, he's going to, um, he's probably going to um, negotiate something for himself. 
can we just do Omarion? You know, and if the promoter really, really wants to see B2K. And, you know, it's possible because all this mess with, excuse me, with B2K and Lil Fizz and April Jones and the whole getting together of those two, you know, people are going to want to see them together now, to be totally honest. People are going to want to see them together and performing and functioning as a group and they're going to want to see the dynamics and how they are on stage you know singing dancing people don't want to see that just because of this drama so based on that they can honestly make triple maybe even not triple but double maybe even triple the amount of money they made on a future tour you know opposed to what they made during this last tour that they did so you know it's, it's actually lucrative it seems like it could be lucrative you know just on the outside looking in because i know people are going to want to see the dynamics you know of them so you know and i know if if someone puts a good price tag omarion will more than likely he, he'll do it because again money talks and again they all got kids i think and um you know they got bills they got bills to pay and mortgages and rents and all this stuff and you know drew he got to keep buying women or whatever because you know he just seemed like he's senseless sorry about that guys yeah he just seemed like he's senseless so you know money talks they'll probably do something together again in the near future but you know, April, she is a hot mess. Like I said, she's not a dumb ass, though. She's very smart. She was a woman scorned. She wanted to use some type of opportunity to get back at Omarion, and she did. She took it. She said, you know what? I'll sit up here and F with Drew. I know that'll get him. You know what I mean? And to be honest with you, like I said, it probably probably did get him. But you don't see it. And, 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 and you know, that's the $100,000 prize It's to see the hurt. It's to see the pain in somebody. And if you don't see the hurt or see the pain, then you lost. And they won. So, in my opinion, you know, Omarion won because he's not showing it. So, next, moving on. You know what I mean? But in the meantime, you fucked the little boy's bag up. You know, he allowed you to. And um, to be totally honest, I don't think he thought he was a pawn at all. I thought I, I feel like he really thought that April was feeling him and, you know, they was going to be together and do it. And she is all about her. She's all about the bag, you know, like most people are all about the bag. But she, by any means, necessary. Like, she'll do whatever she got to do to get to a certain level. You know what I mean? She talked about, I mean, to me, I feel like she painted a picture like she was a victim. And she just don't know why people matter at her. You know what I mean? She talked about how, you know, she tried to give the impression, like, I'm not stupid. You know, I have a college degree. And, um, and I talked about that in one of my other videos. I mentioned that she does have a degree or whatever. She's a respiratory therapist. And on the show, she was like, during the interview, she was like, you know, I have a degree. And, you know, people just don't know that about me. And, um, you know, I have a degree in radiation science. What? Radiation science? You are a respiratory therapist. Where, where, where did radiation come in at? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Where is the radiation at? I mean, she, for lack of a better description, basically, she was trained to be able to enter tubes into people, different areas, and remove secretions, okay? It sounds disgusting, but that's what it is. Moving, removing liquids and secretions from people's bodies, be it phlegm, be it saliva, be it whatever, you know what I mean? If it's liquefied in your body, you know, she is trained to be able to remove that through different methods, through tubes, through the esophagus, the stomach, the chest, and, you know, wherever, you know, she puts things down people's mouths. She's trained from that for that. You know, um, I know they have that program in two-year degrees. Um, it's probably at every community college in every major city or state. Um, I know they had it at uh, several community college was, colleges where I'm from. It was four. It was nursing, uh, respiratory therapist was right below, occupational therapy, and then they also always had the criminal justice degree. 
either one of those. You can get those at two degree. You can get them in four as well. I don't know if she went for two or four, but you know, uh, because it is health, it's a health science degree. You do have to do the biology. You know, it, it was right along aligned with nursing, with the nursing program. So you know, more than likely she had to do four, uh, not four. I'm sorry, three biology classes. Uh, which is the uh, intro, the advanced, and probably abnormal um, uh, biology. And then there's two anatomy and phy physiology classes, which they all fall under biology. Um, one and two of anatomy and physiology, which can be very intense, can be very gruesome um, because you are learning about the body, how the body works, the makeup of the body, the chest, the heart, the ins and outs, the respiratory system, the digestive system, all of that. You know, you got to know the inner workings and what connects to what and why and what it does, the reason why it does it, and if it doesn't do this, what would happen, and all these things. So that can be intense. So um, you don't have to be smart to learn it and to ace it, but you do have to be a studier, and you have to know how to study in order to get you know, retain this stuff and get it down in your head. You know what I mean? So, you know, based on that, I, I don't think she's a fool, uh, an idiot, and I, and I never did. However, the program don't have nothing to do with radiation. <laughs> Period. So I don't know why she called it radiation science. But uh, whatever. She's just trying to make herself seem more important than what she is. And... I'm not saying she's not important because she is important. Why? Because she's somebody's mother. She's two kids' mother, and they love her, and they think the world of her. And because of that, that's a beautiful thing. I'm a mother myself, you know, so I'm not dissing her on that. I'm not trying to – I'm just saying her morals is really effed. And, you know, and I get it. Like I said, she's a woman scorned, and women scorned, they do a lot of fucked up stuff trying to get the guy back. Okay, this is what she did, and hopefully she ain't gonna do nothing else, cause you know he ain't even showing he hurt, so it's over. It is over. But at this point, because her name is in everybody's mouth, she's trending, you know, and and she getting you know interviews, even though it's Claudia dumbass Jordan, she's getting interviews and stuff. You know what I mean? I doubt if she'll be on Wendy Williams, but then again, she may. I wouldn't be surprised. You know what I'm saying? But um. You would think she'll be using all this notoriety and this 15 minutes of fame um, for her music. You know, she says she a singer or whatever. Like I said, I don't know if she sing or rap. But, you know, you would think she would use this time to be singing. Like, you see all these girls, unknown talents on Instagram singing their hearts out. And they have beautiful voices. Why come she ain't doing that? And I know I said, why come? Why come? Like, why come she's not doing that? Like, at this point, you supposed to, every time you see April, she's supposed to be singing. Because this is how she's going to get people to now look at her for her singing. The executives, their labels. You know what I mean? Now, now this is the time. You know, exercise your talent. On her Instagram, you, that's all you're supposed to be doing is singing. A different song, a different melody, harmonizing, acapellaing, or whatever. Why she not doing that? Cause it could it be because she don't know how to sing really, <laughs> it, does she, it, you know. Cause I always wondered uh, is she a talent or what, but anyway, it's just it's a mess. I don't want to talk about her no more. I really don't. It's over. She left the boy. She effed him up. You know what I mean? Now he got to sit there in the corner and pray that, you know, some promoter approach Omarion with a big-ass dollar amount saying, let the group come back together to do this show because that's the only way he's going to do it. That he got to wave, he got to get with, uh, a, a certain amount of money waved at him before he even think about doing B2K again. You know, and so that's what this fool probably in the corner uh, praying on every night. Because he knows he's effed up. This chick, uh, April, she's sitting up there in glory land because she's getting her 15 minutes of fame. And you know what? She had an opportunity to make money and be in the industry, so to speak, when she was on Hollywood Unlocked. That guy that runs it, Jason, I think his name is. Forgive me if it's not. But um, he hired her. You know what I mean? He hired her to be on the show. All she had to do was sit there and, and come up with, you know, 
content and, and put her input in, show her her personality, and, and she could have had a job because I believe the ex video vixen, um, what's her name? Ford, Amanda Ford? No, not Amanda Ford. Jason, uh, is it Jennifer Ford? Amanda Ford? It's something Ford. Melissa, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Melissa Ford. She's also on the podcast and. And I think it's another gentleman as well. But she's been on a podcast, I believe, pretty much from day one. But, you know, um, the Hollywood Unlocked guy, um, I believe his name is Jason, he fired her. Like, he fired her because she didn't bring anything to the table. She didn't bring the personality. She didn't bring the content. You know what I mean? When you're sitting there at a round table or however it's set up, you know, you talk, you, 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 you. You talk, you you give your content, you give your opinion, and, and you put a little bit, uh, sprinkle, sprinkle a little bit of personality and sass and this and that on there. Um, it's not necessarily on TV. It was across the airway, so you mainly listen to it, but now I think they're um, on YouTube, so now you can see them. So, I mean, that was an opportunity to come in with her different looks and to look cute, and, and you know, she could have grew that and, you know, could have got be you know, been getting paid on a regular basis from that. So I, I'm not sure what she wants. I'm really not. I mean, and she talked about singing and a career. Well, hell, you're not even using this time to do the music. I mean, we like I said, when have you seen her singing something recently? And she can't use that she's not in the studio and she did not, you know, no studio time because, like I said, all these amazing singers, they're on Instagram. And they still sound great. What's her excuse? I'm waiting. She don't have one. You know, I don't know what she want to do. She want to, uh, maybe she just wants to be taken care of by some rich rapper. That's what I think. That's really what I think. And is she going to get that? I really do not know. Anyway, so I'm done with them. No design said shit else about Claudia dumbass Jordan because she is completely irrelevant. Anyway, um, I did want to speak on Lizzo one more time, one more again. Lizzo is pissed. Everybody needs to just lay off Lizzo because she might be hitting the punching bag in her private life as well because she really feel like she's being attacked. Um, that um, guru, fitness lady, uh, I can't think of her name. Who cares who she is either? Um, she mentioned Julian Michaels, I think her name is. She mentioned that Lizzo is unhealthy and she probably has diabetes. And if she don't have diabetes, she gonna have diabetes soon. And so Lizzo is pissed. And she did another publication saying everybody who got the, her name in their mouth, you tasting her. Beep! It starts with a P. And let me tell you. I don't have nobody's pee in my mouth, okay? I don't, so whatever. Don't got nobody's pee in my mouth, honey. So, um, yeah. I understand she pissed, though. I do. I understand, and I understand she's mad. So, you know, I don't know, whatever. Let's just all lay off Lizzo, honey. Let's just lay off. I didn't think she, I don't think she had diabetes. She's not even that big. And, I, and I'm not going to say it again, but I'm going to say it again. I It wasn't about her weight, damn it. It wasn't freaking about her weight. Nothing about her weight. I was just simply talking about, like, why the girl show her big fat ass on at a game. That's all. And when I say big fat ass, I just mean it was big. <laughs> you know what I mean? And she just had on panties and a thong or whatever. It wasn't about her weight, though. I don't think she, um, you know, got diabetes, and I never did. Julie Mac Michaels, because she's like this fitness guru lady, you know, she just on something different. Whatever. Who cares? You know, pray for Lizzo, okay? Pray for Lizzo. And pray for Fizz, you know what I mean? Because, like I said, I'm sure he's tripping right now in a negative way. Whatever, because I know he's feeling like he just didn't got straight up got. And if he don't, maybe he's stupid enough to not know he got got, though. Sometimes being real dumb is good. <laughs> Shit. But um, anyway, that was it. I, I just want to come and get all that out the way. I don't want this video to be long. I'm trying to keep my videos under 40 minutes. I hate that they go 40 minutes or 41 minutes. It's irritating. Because, you know, I know y'all get tired of hearing me talk. 
whatever. Anyway, I really, really, really quick. This is not like, um, I just want to talk about my hair because I get, since I've been doing the videos, a lot of times I've been getting compliments on my hair because I'm the bob queen. You know, people who know me for years know that I've been wearing a bob for probably more than 10 years consistently. Sometimes I change it up, but you know, pretty much consistently. Like I wear a bob, I do a deep part, a middle part, a side part, a left part, a right part. You know, either way, I just I wear a bob. And you know, lately I've been doing it a little bit longer. Usually I let it be like right here. Lately I've been going a little longer, and I think I'm going a little bit longer. You know, just to do something different. Because like I said, I've been wearing this bob forever. And so thank you for uh, the compliments for whoever and all the people have given me compliments on my hair. Um, this hair, I love it. It is, um, I wish, I wish hair. This is amazing hair. I love this hair. Um, it is a AliExpress company. Um, I wish is the letter I, the word wish separated is not one word it's two words i wish i wish hair um and i love them i love the company they're way over somewhere in china but yet they're fast like if you have a question and you um you go through aliexpress so of course you have to have an account at aliexpress and then you go to the messaging area you do a message you know how is the hair shed does it do this you have it in this you got it in that link and they reply like quick like instantly almost considering that they're way over in china somewhere and you'll get it back um through your phone um like a text message it, it'll also show up in the messaging area on your aliexpress account but it'll also come through as a, a message a text message on your phone and it's been and i've been um ordering from from them for like maybe for four years three and a half four years off and on but consistently um not really off and on consistently for about three and a half four years and um i could just be thinking about something with the hair or whatever it could be in my head or i'm getting ready to purchase some more and i'll say i had a question about this length or this way and i could just be sitting on my couch and it could be nine o'clock my time eastern standard time and not really thinking that they're going to get back with me immediately <laughs> you know what i mean just thinking about where they are and i'll get a text back like in 30 minutes 15 minutes you know what i'm saying and that's quick considering they're way over in china you know what i mean and they'll say this that and this and that so the customer service is amazing with um i wish you know considering that they're way over in china and they're getting back with you within 20 minutes possibly possibly 30 and then the hair comes um i've never had to wait seven days for hair probably a good four you know give or take four business days and in, or including saturday four so because they'll deliver it um on saturdays as well and this is amazing hair i love this hair like i said this was um 14 inches so i did have it a little bit longer i've been progressive progressively cutting it because ju that's just what I do I sometimes buy long hair and just start cutting it up and this was I think 14 inches and I've cut it up this is probably like 12 inches now a little bit shorter but I love it I get the loose wave and um I hardly ever wear it wavy though I do you know when I do the shower thing on around the house because you know when you lay on it um, I'm not using a bonnet, bonnet either. I probably should use a bonnet, but uh, when I lay on it overnight, sleep, it it goes back to its natural state, wavy, curly, or whatever. And I always flat iron it straight, so it's not that much shedding. Um, I have I don't get the 22 and the 20 inches and the 23 and the 24 inch, so I don't know about that. I I don't get any longer than um, 18. So I've done 18, 16, 14, and 12. I've even done 10 inches before, and that is amazing. It doesn't do a lot of shedding. It, it doesn't um, ball up back here in the nape. Um, it's just great hair, and I love the company. It's I Wish through AliExpress, so check them out. Anyway, so that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to talk about, and I'm doing this in under 40 minutes. I love that. That's amazing. Just wanted to come to you and vent, you guys. Thank you for listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will check you guys out again later. Bye.